hello guys so welcome to my channel so in uh, if you have any sound issues in any of my videos uh, please use uh, headphones and it will be all right so let us proceed with the inspection of lifeboat so this is one of the most important videos lifeboat inspection so lifeboat inspection i have di uh, divided into three parts so the first part is lifeboat equipments and fittings and the second part will be lifeboat davits launching and recovery arrangements and the third part will be engines batteries and lightings so i have divided this inspection routine into three parts and in each part we will go into extremely detail and we will be learning about what all inspection and what all things we need to check while doing a lifeboat inspection so since this video is going to be very long but it will be a very important video and it will be very informative video so please uh, uh, watch till the end so in this video i will be covering the first part of this inspection that is lifeboat equipments and fittings and the rest i will cover in another video so in this video we will be only focusing on lifeboat equipments and fittings and it will be a very informative video so please keep on watching so here we start with lifeboat equipments and fittings so the first inspection will be monthly inspection weekly inspection is there for this lifeboat debits launching and recovery arrangements and uh, this section that is engines we have to uh, uh, try out engines and as well as uh, moving from storage position that is that will be done weekly so that will be covered in this part so i'll be covering whatever is applicable to lifeboat equipments and fittings so here i start in this we have monthly inspection so the first thing we will check in monthly inspection in lifeboat is lifeboat markings so lifeboat markings play a very important role so let us see what all checks we need to see so the first thing first marking we, we will see is this kind of plate this is a certificate of approval so this is what plate is need to be there inside your lifeboat so somewhat which contains the uh, name of the product that is lifeboat or rescue boat then model type serial number maximum number of persons and the, their weight and the max weight with persons it can carry then date of manufacture and approval details and it should be inspected by so and so class so this is the certificate of approval so second thing which we will see is the markings on the lifeboat hull now first we saw the certificate of approval now if it is a free fall lifeboat then in in the certificate of approval there should also be uh, free fall uh, certification height that should be mentioned and uh, the required launching ramp length that also should be mentioned in the certificate of approval plate but since this was of lifeboat which is a side lifeboat thus it is not mentioned here so if if it is a free fall lifeboat three things additional we, we will see first thing is free fall certification height second is required launching ramp length and third thing the launching ramp angle for free fall certification height so this should be there and always make sure that this plate is not painted over so first was that now second is the markings on the hull so as you can see here the number of lifeboat the call sign which should be visible from the top uh, in uh, in block letters then on the side you will see the lifeboat dimension then the number of lifeboat whether it is number 1 or number 2 uh, similarly the number of persons which uh, it is designated to carry then the name of the ship as you can see here and the flag of registry so these markings are very important in lifeboat make sure that they are never faded now other than this markings we have this markings where inside the lifeboat we have a food tank so this should be marked so that we easily come to know that food is kept inside this locker similarly the other equipments then the location of air valve and location of drain valve all this should be marked 
Other markings also include the markings that is lifeboat launching procedure which should be posted near to the lifeboat under the emergency light. I have purposefully kept this light, this picture uh, to make sure you see that this light is there below this. This pro procedure is posted below this light. So this is very important. And other than that marking, the wire renewal date should also be uh, posted or marked or stenciled near the lifeboat. So as you can see here, wire renewed. And other than that, the markings for starting of engines and uh, the procedure for starting of engine in cold, uh, cold conditions and uh, uh, all the procedure which are related to the lifeboat. So that should be all posted here inside the lifeboat. So after other markings, we have to also make sure that the LSA FFA symbols which are posted like uh, this uh, release hooks and starting of engine, all this post, uh, uh, poster should be uh, well uh, sticked and uh, no fading of this should be there. <coughs> the third monthly inspection will be of fitting of the retro reflective tape. So we will check thoroughly the uh, retro reflective tape. They should not be faded or the glue should not come out. Then from the top area and the bottom area, <coughs> you can see here. So now this retro reflective tape, this has a requirement that they should cover an area of minimum 150 centimeter square. This is one retro reflective tape. So here the dimension is the vertical distance is 5 cm and the horizontal distance is 30 cm. If you cut this size of retro reflective tape and paste it, then this will comply with the minimum area which should be covered that is 150 cm square. That is only for the one retro reflective tape. So uh, whatever we get from the manufacturer, so that is always 5 cm only, but this 30 cm we have to measure and we have to cut. If it is more than 30 cm, no problem, but make sure that it is not less than 30 cm. Now there is also one requirement for the distance between the two retro reflective tapes. <coughs> now they, as you can see here, there are two retro reflective tapes where, whose center is marked. These red lines are the center of the retro reflective tape. So the distance between both the centers should be at least 50, 80 centimeter approx. It should be there. It should not be more than 80 centimeter. It should be approx 80 centimeter. If it is near, no problem, but make sure that it should not go more. So this was about retro reflective tape. Now, the another thing is lifeboat hull. This is also comes under monthly inspection and this is the most important inspection. So here we will check all the uh, hull area. There should be no cracks or no uh, dent in any of the part of the lifeboat hull. We will have a thorough inspection of the lifeboat from the top and from the bottom area. Similarly, this fitting also comes under lifeboat. So this is the light canopy light, which you can see here. You can see that in this light, there is a moisture accumulation. So after the renewal of the light, this is the new light. So inspection is to be done for to inspect like these things in which you can uh, PSC can uh, detain your ship. So always make sure that you inspect and rectify these things well in time. So this is why we do the inspection to rectify this and correct, take corrective actions. So other than the, the canopy light, the cabin search light and the uh, search light, which we have cabin light and the search light, this also should be inspected. And in lifeboat hull also this uh, window, window glasses also come. So make sure that this window glasses are all kept clean and no moisture accumulation or no seawater uh, accumulation or salt deposition. So always make sure that they are clean from outside as well as inside. So this was about the lifeboat hull. Now I will come to rudder and tiller. So as you can see here that rudder condition, you, so you should always inspect that there is no dent or there is a protection guard on the propeller and it's in good condition working. And 
this is the tiller so you have to make sure that you try out the tiller monthly and make sure that you grease wherever uh, the turning areas wherever required so you have to try out this emergency steering monthly so other than this we have bucketed ropes or lifelines so we have to inspect this also so as you can see here this black color ropes so there is a requirement of this ropes that it should be 16 mm and it should be buoyant lines so either they will be black color or they will be similar to this and they will be having a floating aid on it so these are the uh, bucketed lines and other than this we have lifeboat skates to inspect so as you can see here this portion these are the lifeboat skates so make sure that there is no uh, cracks in this as you can see in this picture uh, there is a crack on this uh, scale one of the rubber padding so make sure that you inspect thoroughly so after lifeboat skates we have inspection of safety belts and hand bends so let us see what is this now this safety belts are all, all you can see here make sure that they are connected and not entangled or any uh, uh, knot is not there and there is a requirement as per CDI that they should always be in contrast colors. Now this is orange color. So the next one is blue color. Then again orange, then blue. Similarly, uh, so that the uh, when two persons are sitting, there should be no confusion that who will take which strap. That is why it is a requirement that they, you should always have uh, uh, the seat belts of contrast color. It's not required that it should be orange or blue. It can be black or yellow also. And also this cushioning, you can see here foam pad. So this foam pad should also be there in the lifeboat. They should not, they should not be missing or they should not be damaged. So that is very important thing. And this foam pad, it's a requirement that we should, it should be of height of 50 mm, at least 50 mm. So this should be there with a flame retardant cover or it should be of a flame retardant material. So the next thing we will check is the embarkation ladder and access gates. See embarkation ladder and access gates. This is a three monthly requirement, but it comes in a monthly requirement, but there is no checking of the ladder. There, I will tell you what you need to check in this. So in this, you have to make sure that it is covered monthly you have to make sure it is covered and the d shackles which are there you have to make sure that the d shackles which are there connected at the end of this ladder you have to make sure that the d the d shackle and the rope passing through the d shackle they are not getting damaged because of the sea water which is there on the deck because as you can see here it is above the deck but some of the embarkation ladders are kept on the deck so they, there are chances that the ropes which are on the deck will get rotten because of the uh, sea water or uh, whatever water is there on the deck, the dirty water. So you have to make sure that uh, the, rope, uh, the rope doesn't get damaged. Other than this, we also have to uh, inspect this uh, embarkation gates which are there. You have to make sure that it is not, uh, the pins are not uh, frozen. So you have to uh, grease them and inspect them regularly on a monthly basis so the next inspection is air support system and water spray system so every month you have to check the air support pressure so this is applicable for tankers only so you have to check the bottle pressure it should be the uh, the pressure should be sufficient and it should match with the working pressure of the lifeboat air bottles similarly for water spray system it is a three monthly requirement to uh, try out the water spray system but to just to check whether the valve is operating or not that should be there in monthly inspection so the last one is lifeboat equipments inventory so this is i have highlighted red because this is one of the most important thing uh, what a third officer does so in this equipment list you can see here buoyant o's crutch and port hooks then buoyant baler bucket survival manual so all this are a part of uh, lifeboat equipments then this painter sea anchor so this all comes under monthly inventory so you have to make sure that it is there inside the lifeboat and then hatchet 
then make sure that the hatchet is sharp then fresh water tank 3 liter per person 500 ml pack then this is the dipper lany with lanyard then drinking vessel food ration 10000 kilojoules per package so you have to make sure that it is sufficient for all the people then the pyrotechnics make sure they are not expired then the electric torch with one spare set of battery and spare bulb this is very important make sure that the battery is not expired because uh, i have inspected many times i have got that the battery has a expiry date so make sure that it is not expired then we have a daylight signaling la la a mirror then this is the table for life saving signal whistle first aid uh, outfit so it also has expiry so make sure that it doesn't expire then anti sickness tablet tablet also has expiry then sea sickness bag and then jack knife make sure it is not rusted or frozen then tin opener also it should not be rusted then the rescue boat uh, sorry buoyant rescue coit attached to 30 meter of buoyant line then manual pump this is very important you have to try out monthly basis you have to make sure that it is taking the suction because most of the ships it is fitted but if you don't try out maybe it will not take suction because of some choke or something then fishing tackle tool set this is engine tool set then portable fire extinguisher the dry powder 2 kg so you have to make sure that you inspect this extinguisher also monthly basis then search light i already told about you have to try out this search light with battery then radar reflector some radar reflectors have expiry so make sure that uh, it doesn't expire and then tpa that is thermal protective aid then we have a rainwater collector and then buoyant line for rescue boat this is very important make sure that the length is 50 meter and uh, make sure the condition of the rope is good then other than this we have uh, other things for inspection now this was all about monthly inspection now let me come to quarterly inspection in quarterly inspection as i told uh, the there will be inspection of embarkation ladder and access gates so here you have to in the three monthly inspection you have to open up this cover and you have to lay this embarkation ladder on deck you have to inspect thoroughly whether any signs of damage on the or the ropes are getting uh, toned or any uh, strands coming out or it is getting rot because of some sea water or any uh, because of the sunlight so make sure that this area which is thimble area uh, it should not get damaged because these are exposed to deck so normally uh, what people do is when they are exposed to the deck they put a wooden uh, box or wooden material so that they don't touch the deck so they will be get protect they will be protected and uh, some of the company requirement tells that uh, they have to paint the d shackles red in color along with the thimble make sure there is no rust so this was about the embarkation ladder the second thing for quarterly inspection is the lifeboat water spray equipment so this we need to try out on a monthly on the quarterly basis so whenever we lower the lifeboat uh, and maneuver the lifeboat that time we will Uh, we try out the sprinkler system most of the sprinkler system are clutched with the engine so whenever you run the engine the sprinkler will automatically start the moment you open one valve which is there for uh, which connects the engine pump to the uh, sprinkler so this you have to try out now you have to when you try out this you have to make sure that all the nozzles are working nothing is choked and after trying out of the uh, water spray system you have to make sure that you there is a connection for fresh water rinsing so you have to connect there and you have to apply you will be having some designated hose supplied by the yard uh, to apply to connect here to the end to the one end to the ship and then you start fresh water and rinse the nozzles so that there is no accumulation and choking because of the salt deposition inside the lines so this was about the quarterly inspection so the third thing is the quarterly inspection of sea anchors now sea anchors is the only lifeboat equipment which is inspected in quarterly inspection so sea anchor is one of the important thing you have to make sure that the rope is not uh, rotten or damaged because of the moisture and there is a swivel so this swivel when i inspected in one ship this was completely rusted 
so, and it was not at all moving it was frozen so make sure that you regularly inspect this and de-rust this and apply proper greasing and make it well lubricated so that it is uh, moving and not frozen so this was about uh, quarterly inspection for the C anchor and uh, it is not recommended to put this inside a garbage bag because uh, uh, when you go in cold area and then hot area then some moisture accumulation because of that uh, this ropes get damaged that is what it is recommended so this was about C anchor so after quarterly we go for six monthly inspection in six monthly inspection we will understand performance test of RR tape so I have already explained this in my previous videos of uh, life jacket and the immersion suit so it is the same thing you have to check on a six monthly basis the RR tapes performance test so if you can see here this RR tapes retro reflective tapes you have to make sure that uh, you have to apply some water here and then you have to keep one uh, retro reflective new tape as beside that and we have to apply torch with a distance of 10 meter uh, and you have to see whether they are uh, showing uh, same illumination or same intensity of brightness so if it is not it is uh, let's say if it is faded so you have to change it so this is a six monthly inspection but if you have any doubt you can renew that immediately also so this was about six monthly and other than this we have it is recommended to renew the electric torch battery every six monthly okay electric torch battery to be changed so and make sure that when you change the battery the battery have uh, expiry date so make sure that it is not expired so this was about six monthly now we will come to five yearly five yearly inspection we will be having lifeboat air bottle pressure testing so let me tell you that i am only on lifeboat equipments and fittings so i am on the first part of the inspection so whatever is related to this things so that is why i have uh, completed till five yearly i have came to five yearly so since lifeboat air bottle is a fitting which is in there in the lifeboat so that is why it comes under five yearly inspection the pressure testing so make sure that whenever you do the pressure testing of the lifeboat air bottles so all these valves which are there the charging valve the exhaust valve make sure that these valves are also pressure tested because sometimes you will see that this charging valves or which are the exhaust valves this sometimes leaks so always make sure that when you give it for pressure testing or you when you land it you make sure that they pressure test this connections also so this is very important so this was all about five yearly inspection so guys we are we have successfully completed the monthly inspection of lifeboat equipments and fittings we now know what to inspect and what to check so we have successfully completed the first part of this video now in my next video i will be covering the lifeboat debits launching and recovery arrangements so guys i hope you have got some knowledge after watching this video so guys if you like this video please like subscribe and comment and thanks for watching guys